Hello. 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 Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. How is everything? Good evening. How is Nice teacher. Nice. Good to hear that. Very nice, teacher. I like to hear that. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, how is the day? Not bad. Not bad. Good. What happened? Teacher, que se confundió de grupo porque estaba en el anterior. Porque hay una confusión en enlace, ¿verdad? Y no sé cuál es cuál. Este es el módulo 3. Ajá. Módulo 3. Módulo 3. Sí, porque usted estaba en el anterior, ¿verdad? Y módulo 1, creo yo. Creo. Ajá, cabal. Sí, me confundí. <ríe> Perdón. No, también han enviado los links equivocados. ¿Han, han mandado diferentes ID? Eh, lo que pasa es que yo tenía como que adjunto el link de la vez anterior y entonces no lo cambié. Entonces mi error fue ese. Así que, pero aquí estoy ya, así que perdón por esa confusión, así que, pero ahorita ya vamos a dar comienzo a nuestra clase, este, módulo 3, right? Yes. Ok, so we are going to start, sorry to be late today, but it's not going to happen anymore, ok? You can see my screen? Yes. yes. Ok, thank you. Okay, the day is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. The topic for today is going to be the month of the year. We're going to have the date and we're also, we're going to learn the ordinal numbers, okay? The future with going to. I don't know if you have any idea about the ordinal numbers. Yes or no? ¿Tienen alguna idea sobre los números ordinarios? First, second, third. Hey, okay. I good, idea. good. Yeah, I, I love that, that you have the idea for that. Okay, so after that, I will present myself. Uh, my name is Karen Lopez, or you can call me Natalia o Vallejo, and I will be your teacher in this process to learn English. Okay, I am an English teacher since 20, 2015, 2015, sorry, 2015. Yes, it's correct too. And that video I developed to teach the best from me, okay? Places that I taught English, that was the Tanya Institute, the Armed Forces, Capocom, and also ITCA Next. Okay, those are the places that I already teach or taught. And always with the desire to teach and learn from each of my students with the blessing of God, I will continue teaching in the best way. Okay, that is uh, Karen Natalia, okay, myself. Okay, I would like to know your name and I would like to listen your name because I would like to identify your tone of voice, okay? Eh, Me pueden decir aunque sea solo su nombre, quiero identificar irlos identificando este, sus voces. ¿Okay? Cuando me digan su nombre, ya voy a ir este, como escuchando sus voces y por eso quiero que me compartan sus nombres, por favor. Teacher, my name is Mario Adolfo Arevalo Linares. ¿Mm? Good. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. My name is Adriana Guadalupe Marroquín Gutiérrez. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. My name is Norma Enriquez. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, My name is Victoria Aviles. Uh -huh. Continue. Good evening. Hey, teacher. My name is Penny Flores. Good. Continue. Good evening. My name is Cindy Areli Aldana Cerón. Okay. Thank you. Continue. 
Hi, my name is Kenya Jamilet Garcia Vega. Thank you. Continue. Hello, Hi, everyone. Teacher. Hi, my name is Carla de Chavez. Good. Continue. Hi, teacher. My name is Fernando Diaz. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. My name is Lorena Martinez de Sanchez. Okay, thank you. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Miguel Guardado. Thank you. Hi, Run. teacher. My name is uh, Roxana Melissa. And nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too. Continue. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Uh, my name is Miguel Alexander. Thank you. Okay. Hi, teacher. My name is Adiel Guevara. Adiel, okay. Thank you. Hi, teacher. My name is Yesenia Lemo. Thank you. My name is Javier Pelatos. Thank you. Good night, teacher. My name is Natalia. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, teacher. My name is Jesus Abrego. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Hi. teacher. My name is Jose Duarte. Thank you. Hi, Hi teacher. My name is Jocelyn Madre Flores Coca. Thank you. Hi, my name is Katherine Abigail. Thank you. Hi, teacher. My name is Maybelline Dariana. Dariana, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody? Hi. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Rodolfo Lopi Jimenez. Hey, okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <clears throat> Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everyone. My name is Ashley. Is... Uh -huh. Good evening, teacher. My name is Oscar Arias. Okay, nice to meet you. Good okay. evening. Uh -huh. My name is Paola Martinez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, everybody. Everybody told me the, the name. Hi, Miss. My name is Catherine Hussein Maldonado Mejia. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for that information. So we're going to continue with the class. We're going to start with the class. So we're going to study with the module number three, I guess. Oh, I'm not sure that you already practice in the platform. Yes or no? ¿Ya empezaron a practicar en la plataforma? No yet. Okay. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Congratulations. Okay, para los que no han empezado, trátenlo de hacer porque si no se les va a ir acumulando. Okay, so we have our agenda for today that we have the greetings that we already did learn about the month of the year, how to use the dates. In this case, we're going to learn about the ordinal numbers and the use of the future with going to. Okay, we're going to practice. We're going to do some practice about the topic and also you should practice in the platform. Okay. Practice in the if, platform. Okay, if I talking a little bit fast, please let me know and I will do it slowly, okay? Si voy muy rápido, me avisa. Si no me entiende algo, me interrumpe. Aquí lo que vamos a hacer es apoyarnos y que tengamos un buen ambiente. ¿verdad? Así que, por favor, me avisan. And so we have our objective. Who wants to read the objective? ¿Quién quiere leer el objetivo? Thank you, Jocelyn. General objective. Students will be able to use the month of the year to say when is their birthday, dates, ordinal numbers, and the future we're going to. Okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. 
Okay. So to start, uh, do you have that information right in the platform? And also, uh, do you already download the the manual? Ya descargaron el manual? No. Yeah. Yet? No. No yet? Yes. Yes. Okay, you did. Okay, when you have time, you can look in for that and download the the material because it's going to help you to study and also to review something that you couldn't understood in in the platform. Okay, so that is the first topic that we are going to learn in this new module. What are you going to do? Okay, we're going to learn the month and date, okay? So here we have the month, okay? So I know you already know about the month, yes? And also we have the date over here. So for example, we have month. Who wants to read it? ¿Quién los quiere leer? Me, teacher. Thank you. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, thank you. So those are the month of the year, right? So thank you. Okay, so we have here date, okay? We also call them uh, ordinal numbers, okay? So we have the uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, right? So we're going to pronounce at the end that because that is the things that we're going to do it in the ordinal numbers, right? <clears throat> do you understand why we're going to use these uh, letters at the end of the number? Yes. yes. Okay, so we have the first, second, and third. That is the difference between from fourth to 20th. Yeah, 20th. Yes, we have the 20th. And then we have 21st, 22nd, 23rd. And then we're going to continue with the fourth, right? Uh, you can see the difference if you write the you don't do know about the difference between the ordinal and the cardinal. So we have here the difference, but I will give you some tips about the month. Yes, month always start with capital letters. Okay, siempre vamos a poner los meses del año con mayúsculas. Okay, don't forget that. You can see my screen. Pueden ver mi pantalla. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. So the days we always use ordinal numbers for the date in a spoken English. Okay. So we have first one, right? Cardinal numbers that we call in Spanish eh, los normales, le decimos. Okay. Cardinal numbers, los números cardinales. So we have first one, second two. Third, tres, fourth, sorry. <laughs> Third, three, fourth, four, fifth, five, six, six, seventh, seven, eighth, eight, ninth, nine, tenth, ten. Yes? Easy. Easy yeah, I know. Okay. Um, I will let you or give you a homework that you are going to look for the ordinal numbers and the cardinal numbers. Okay, from I guess 12, 20, that you can see the difference between them, how we are going to write them. Because we know the numbers, but in some cases we can't write them. Okay, so that is going to be your homework uh, during this week, okay? Uh, just to practice the number, how we're going to write them, okay? 
la tarea va a ser que vea cómo se escriben los números ordinales y los números cardinales, pero en inglés. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Good. So, uh, we're going to go to the platform. Uh, I will stop to sharing right here. Let me check. Yes. I will stop to sharing right here. And I will um, share this. Okay, so you can see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So by the end of this class, you will learn the month and date. Additional, you will learn too about birth. Yes? Okay, okay. I don't know if you watch this video. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. I will uh, play the video, but you let me know if you can listen the audio. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let me know. Don't listen. No listen. No escucho, teacher. Okay. So, but do you remember about this video? Si no lo han visto, por favor, you can do it. You have to do it because uh, you're going to learn a lot from this video, okay? <clears throat> I will stop the sharing right now and I will pass the attendance right now, please. Uh, let me know if you are here, say present, I'm here or something, okay? <clears throat> so we are going to start. Adriana Guadalupe Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Graciela Beltrán. Thank you. Jocelyn. Jorge Alexis. Jorge Alexis. Jose Imael Duarte. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Madaí Flores. I'm here. Thank you. Juan Carlos Méndez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Fernando Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Maricela Reyes. Present teacher. Catherine Abigail. Present teacher. Catherine Giselle. Here teacher. Kenya Jamilet. Present teacher. Kenya Jamilet. Kenny. I'm here Kenny. teacher. Okay. Kenny. Kenny, yes. Okay. Liborio Adiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena Jamilet. Here, teacher. Thank you, Mario Adolfo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maybelline Dariana. Present. Thank you, Miguel Alexander. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Natalia Inés. Present. Thank you. Nelson Javier. Darnos el pecado por amor a él. Nelson Javier. Señor, ayúdanos. A... Me ayudan con los micrófonos, por favor, a, a ponerlo en silencio. Presente. Thank you. Norma Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rachel Beatriz. Raquel Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Rosember Armando. Rodolfo López. Here I am, Miss. Thank you. Rosemary. Well. Janet. 
Present, teacher. Thank you. Roxana Melissa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Lisset. Okay. Yesenia Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. So this is the first time. So we're going to continue. With... Disculpe, maestra, buenas noches. Buenas noches. No. Mi nombre es Lisbeth Alvarado y no me mencionó. Lisbeth. Ni tampoco a mí. Ni tampoco Ni a mí. Lisbeth Alvarado. Perdón, no se pararon. Lisbeth Alvarado. <risa> Lisbeth. María. ¿Cree que pueden anotar los nombres de las personas que no mencioné? Por favor, ahí en el chat. Ok. Creo que escuché tres voces. Los tres que no estamos. <laughs> ok, so déjenme verificar eso bien. Y ahí me los ponen en el chat. And we are going to continue with the class. Let me check. Ok. Eh, yes, we are here, right? And what we are going to do. Uh, we're going to uh, practice this conversation about a uh, happy birthday. Who wants to read? ¿Quién quiere leer? Okay, Jocelyn, thank you. And give me a second. Let me check. Uh, and Angie, you are going to be Angie. I need another volunteer. Okay. I, Miguel Angel. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you, One, going, two, three. are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Edwin? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, good. Interesting. Okay, I need two more volunteers. May I? Did yes. You? Lopez Rodolfo, right? Yeah. Okay, the first one. And uh, Angie. another person? Angie or Philip? Uh, you're going to be Angie and Miguel Angel, you are going to be Philip. Okay. Ready? Are Ready. you going? Go, go, go. Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Hello. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are you planned? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Thank you, everybody. So, okay. okay, thank you, everybody, for your participation and to be participate. But, uh, okay, so in this conversation, we have different um, using of the going to, right? We have here the question, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Okay, so we have, are you going to, okay? So that is the structure that we are going to learn today. Yes? And also, so we have here, 
an answer that we have, I'm going to celebrate my birthday, okay? So what we're going to do right now. So we have here something very interesting. That we with that, we have the grammar focus. The future will be going to. So we have here some questions and we have the answer. Who wants to read it? ¿Quién las quiere leer? Thank you. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Carla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite. Uh, what do you say, invite? Uh, invite. 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 Invite all my friends. Uh, no, she isn't. She's going to take my out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. Okay, thank you. Okay, that was some of the questions and we have some answers over here. But you can see that we have using the be going to, right? And we have the answer using the going to. Yes, be going to. Yes? So do you know about the, what is the meaning of be? Uh-huh. ¿Qué fue lo que dijo en inglés? ¿Qué, qué, saben, qué saben de del verbo be? Oh. ¿Qué significa cero está? Okay. Yes. So in English Mm -hmm. Okay, B is, is, uh -huh. is and are. Ah, okay, so the B is, is, are, and am, okay, the verb to be. Okay, we're going to study some structure or some useful about the verb to be. Yes, in this case, no, sorry, going to for future. So we have the use of the going to to future. We are going to use it for plan action in the future. Yes, so we have here a sentence that we can look in for it or how we're going to use it. Plan actions in the future. So we have our, we are going to see at the body. So we're going to go, uh, that is the example. Uh, any party tonight can be, right? Or next week. That is going to be an action that we already planned, okay? So we have another one. You are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Local consequence, yes, local consequence. Look at that car, okay? It is going to crash into the yellow one, okay? It's something that you can see and you can uh huh. It's going to be that is going to happen, right? It's a second, a minute that you are going to, yeah, in short time that you're going to see something and you're going to say, Oh my god, it's something is going to happen. Yes, so for that, another reason that we are going to use going to another thing is the form how we're going to use them is a form the question or the sentences, uh, we're going to use the to be, in this case, we already discussed that is am, are, and is, right? Then we're going to use plus going to plus infinity. Yes, another thing that we're going to use is for the decisions taken before now intentions, okay? okay? Plans, 
Are you going to watch the game tonight? That is a decision. Yes? I don't know if you understand. In the bird, uh, it's a baseball. Yes, yes. Now we are going to do or see the structure. Okay, this is the structure that how we are going to use it. Okay, we have the subject over here. Yeah, the bird to be that is going to be am, um, is an art. Why we are going to use am um, in this case? because we're using I, yes? And then the structure that we are using right now is going to, yes? And then we're going to use the verb and the base form, okay? That your classmate mm -hmm. told us that is going to use in the base form. And then we have the complement, yes? So here we have some examples how we are going to use them. I am going to celebrate my birthday, yes? I am going to study more tonight. She is going to play tennis today. And the last one, you are going to be angry, <laughs> okay? Um, who wants to tell me an example? Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going, going to. I am going to uh, write my class. Write my class. I'm going to write my class. Okay, good. Excellent. Another one. I am going to work tomorrow. I'm going. To work tomorrow. Okay. Uh, with his, with his, sorry. Yes, is, is. Is going, oh. is going to work tomorrow. Okay, sorry. He's going to work work tomorrow to work tomorrow okay yes easy i'm going to drive uh -huh. you are to go you are going to dancing today Okay, you are going to dancing or dance? Today. Dance, dance. or dancing? Dance. dance. Ah. The very ah, okay, don't forget that, that we're going to use the verb in the base form. Yes? Easy, right? Teacher. Yes. Es correcto decir, my father is going to sleep this night. Let me check. My father is going to sleep tonight like this? Yes. Yes. My father is going to sleep tonight. Ah, sorry, Mike. I just thought my father is going to sleep tonight. Yes. Uh, me, uh, she is going to call for telephone. Ah, uh, my father. Okay, give me a second. I will write it over here. So repeat it again. My uh, my sister is going to call. Uh, to my father. To my father. Oh, with my father. Yes, it's correct. Thank Easy. Uh, 
करते हैं इससे ओके कार्ला पाओला एंड क्रो के इससे se metieron en el grupo equivocado, creo. Ok. Ajá, pero aprendió algo con nosotros. Yes. Ok. Sí, clase. Ajá, ya quedó grabado que usted estuvo en esta clase. Nos acompañó. ¿Y cuál es entonces el link? Porque estamos eh... confundidos totalmente. No sabemos en qué chat vamos a entrar en WhatsApp. Y ahora nos llamaron en, en, en la mañana a todos los del trabajo que nos iban a cambiar de grupo, entonces no sabemos. Vaya, déjeme averiguar eso, así que este, ya vamos a ver. Ya tengo sus nombres y vamos a ver eso. Ok. Eh, so, we're going to continue. Now, what we're going to learn. Uh, we're going to use them, but in questions. Yes, so we have the questions and how we're going to do, do that is we're going to write first the verb to be, yes, the subject, the going to, the verb, the complement, and don't forget that when we're going to use or do some questions, we're going to uh, write just at the end the question mark, okay? Yes? So we have here some examples that are you going to watch TV tonight? The answer can be yes, I am, or no, I am not. And also you can uh, answer with a long uh, question. Uh, answer, sorry. Yes? ¿Me va comprendiendo? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, we have here another example. Is Marisol going to read a book this weekend? Yes, she is. No, she is not. No, she isn't. Yes? Is it going to rain? Yes, it is. No, it is not, or no, it isn't. Okay, and the last uh, question is, is Jason going to take the exam? Yes, he is. No, he is not, or no, he isn't. Yes? Easy. Teacher. Yes. Para estas para esta preguntas, ¿las respuestas siempre van a ser así cortas o pueden ser respuestas como más largas? Sí, pueden ser largas, así, en le, así como en el ejemplo que tenemos acá. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. One answer or I am going to celebrate my birthday. Yes, I am. We can do it short or long. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do right now? What are these people going to do this weekend? Write sentences, then confer with a partner. So we have an example over there in your uh, material that is, are you going to dance in this weekend? Yes. And the answer is yes, I'm going to go to a new night dance club downtown. So because we have here these images, this picture. Okay, what we're going to do, uh, you are going to work with this. Vamos a trabajar con esto. Eh, si no han descargado su material, por favor, trátenlo de hacer en estos eh, días, mañana o la vacación de hoy en la vacación que, que vamos a tener. 
para que lo pueda estudiar, ¿verdad? Este, y si tiene dudas o cualquier cosa, las podemos ir resolviendo. ¿Ok? Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con respecto a, a lo que poco que hemos visto ahora. No. Ok, eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá y nos vemos el día de eh, mañana. Ok. 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 Perfect, teacher. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.